as we uh, get ready to uh, see the launch of the next crew to space. The uh, crew members who are already on board the International Space Station are uh, continuing to work on the variety of science there. Uh, there is uh, still a series of tests going on board the International Space Station today that started before the construction of the space station began, back when the space shuttle was our only orbiting science laboratory. Lori Meggs joins us from the uh, Payload Operations Integration Center at the Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama this morning to talk about growing protein crystals in microgravity. That's right, that very subject, protein crystal growth, is proving useful in the design of new pharmaceuticals, specifically a drug to prevent Duchenne's muscular dystrophy. That's where there is a defective gene for proteins in the muscles. I had the opportunity to speak with a lead investigator for this project at the Bio, Osaka Biotechnology Institute in Japan. I studied protein crystallography to know the tertiary structure of the various protein. And also now is we try to make a good drug used for the, the prevention of the muscle uh, loss of the Duchenne's muscular dystrophy. To design the drug, so we use the, the crystallization of the protein in drug complex under the microgravity condition in the International Space Station. Why did you want to study protein crystal growth at first? So, yeah, that the original idea is just the, the several researchers proposed that the microgravity is very effective to prepare the, the very old other structures of the high quality crystal. But the, we are not sure then that the one day is the JAXA, previous name is NASDA of the Japanese Space Agency, uh, give us a chance to participate in the space shuttle project to check the, the crystal quality growing the uh, microgravity condition of space shuttle. That is our starting point. Then by combination of the microgravity to prepare the high quality crystal and also the using the super power X-ray to define the fine structures. So those combination is very, very useful to understand why, the how that chemical structure bound to the target protein. That completely the, the, the fine structure of the target cavity, we can design much more better structured drug. So diagnosis is very easy because that disease is a genetic, uh, due to the genetic mutation of this ring gene. Therefore, the diagnosis is very easy to by genetic diagnosis, but no, no therapy at all, nothing to do. And year by year, the boys, the muscle was weakened. And at the end of the junior school, they have to use wheeling chairs. Once they start to use the wheeling chairs, muscle was much more weak in the laboratory. And they, until the 20 years old, they have to use artificial aspiration machine. Then, okay, they can maintain the life 20 years more. But finally, is respiration is very difficult. Most boys will die by the, the, the respiratory failure or the heart failure. But once we found the good drug candidates, and I ad administer those drug candidates to the model animal of DMD, so without the, touching the any gene, we can slow down the progression of the disease. How did you make the connection between Duchenne's muscular dystrophy and your protein crystal growth? Uh, it was uh, really the, the suddenly accidental finding. The, almost 10 years ago, one doctor course student of the Department of Pediatrics of the uh, neighboring university visited my office, and he found that is the uh, normal the, the, uh, histological studies. He found our target the enzyme is also upregulated in the damaged the smooth muscle of the, uh, the patient with DM, Duchenne's muscular dystrophy. So the, until that time, I did not know anything about the DMD. But then he explained how serious that disease by using the chemical drug that so we can, the, how should I say, control the uh, drug phenotype. The genotype, we cannot touch it, even though it's okay, we can control the phenotype, just like a case of 
HIV. So now it's to 10 years or 20 years later, so many people died by HIV. But now in the United States, most cases we can control. I want to realize uh, their drug, distributed new drug for every patient everywhere, and <laughs> it's a very cheap price. This is my dream. And that just shows you that research can take years, but the results are well worth the wait. Very interesting research there. And taking a live look in the Payload Operations Integration Center, Mike Fast is the Payload Operations Director today. And they are getting ready uh, with all of the excitement with the new launch of a new crew. And that means a lot of exciting new work and science investigations here from the Payload Operations Integration Center.